Hello everybody, welcome to a new video of James Pichio. So, another update on the V8 Turbo Project in the W124 TE. So, it is uh, already more than a month ago, I think, I placed a video. I think it's about a month ago that I did a video about the S65 AMG. Uh, I got some questions about this car, so I finally got the stuff back. I think it's one and a half months ago that I placed something about this project. It's not that I stopped, but it took me a lot of time to uh, get all the parts sorted out so I have that I have good information to show you something. So, uh, if you're new to the project, have a look on my website, jamespeecher.com is over here. Also, have a look in the right corner for you. Uh, you can click on my logo, subscribe, and look to the other videos in this playlist. If there are any questions, leave some comments below, I try to answer them. So, uh, the last time I put the engine in, uh, I think I mentioned that I had to do, to get some solution for the steering box. So, that's what I also did. So, uh, a lot of people were already asking me about the steering box. So, the steering box is still the original one from... Uh, this is an E200 model, so this is an all petrol and diesel versions the same, as far as I know, except for the V8 ones. And I did some research for a V8 box, steering box, but it's just, yeah, very hard. Uh, they're expensive, not easy to get, I don't like that kind of stuff. So if you change a car and something breaks, that the parts are so rare that you don't get it, or you have to pay... That much money that you can also buy another car, so expensive it is. So I don't really like that. So it needs to be easy to find and easy to change with normal parts. I think, yeah, 500 and a 400 model W124. Yeah, those steering boxes are just rare and cost like 10 times a second hand one of a normal W124 model with an inline 6 and inline 4 engine. So, ohm steering box, how did I? got this solution on. So as you can see, uh, it's now, uh, this one is of course is, is loosened up, but it's all like original. So what did I do? So the problem in the beginning was that I didn't have any uh, play in between the steering box and the exhaust manifold. Yeah, it's not easy to see, but there is space in between the exhaust manifold and the steering box now. So how did I do it? For the people who are more familiar with the technical side of this mounting, there are three bolts in the wheel arch normally. Um, this is a hole that I created. So this is the donor card, this will be scrapped, but this uh, is how I did it. So I lowered the steering box. Look, this is the normal hole over there. That should be over here. So it's lowered about four centimeters, I think. So what did I do? I also changed this reaction arm. You see there is an S-band in it. Normally this S-band is like this, downwards. So you cannot turn it around because the holes are different sizes and it's not symmetric on both sides. So, so I have a guy that's very handy with a flame torch and knows how steel works. Also when you heat it. So this one is uh, heated and it now makes it turn the other way around. So, looks very nice, no cracks, just like factory. It looks also factory, also the numbers are still on it. But this is n a little bit different. So that's how I did it. And uh, it works very good because I already tested it. The only thing that you have is that this axle is also going down. So the steering box is going down like this. But in, there, in the uh, engine bay there is a flexible joint that can easily uh, do that. The only thing what I'm going to do with the car where the engine is going in is going to uh, lower the hole uh, what's needed to get it all centered. That's the only thing. So it's a very easy solution. Still can have the original steering box. Uh, uh, I also could mount a steering rack but I don't want to do that because it's just a lot of work. And it's also not, yeah, it's just a lot of work. That's the, that's the main thing, and it's just easy. Everything fits. Um, 
if did, this would not work, I would change it. I was not going to look for a 500 or 400 e steering box. I think that would also not fit. I will show you on the top how that looks. Because it's very tight if you leave the steering box in position. So engine bay. So exhaust manifold is done. Uh, both sides. Also, was a little bit of a pain because it was not all like I wanted. Yeah, the manifolds making making the manifolds was going pretty good, but the flanges were not straight, so they need to be flattened, and that was a big hassle. Long waiting. I think I waited four weeks. So uh, yeah, but I got them back. So there's already a flange mounted over there down below uh, because I wanted to get the. Uh, part that's going in the engine needs to be dismantleable. How you call it? Uh, it needs to be easy uh, to get it uh, out of the car without having to dismantle the complete engine out of the car. So there's one flange here. There's now also a flange on this exhaust manifold. You can see it better. There's the manifold, I think. I think like this. It's easier to see. There's a flange. Uh, this pipe will be merged with the this one. This pipe will be merged with the other one that's going getting underneath the engine up, but it will be shown in another video. But I got space here, it still is going to be a nice puzzle to get the three inch down pipe somewhere through there, but I think I will manage that. Turbo and wastegate needs to be in here. I have an external wastegate, so it's also extra space. So I cannot really show you the space that I have in between the steering box and the manifold because yeah it's tight but there is space uh, it's about seven millimeters in between the exhaust manifold and the steering box so the steering box needs to be isolated uh, from the manifold but in a certain way that is still airflow so uh, that will be okay so for the rest there's a lot of space in here uh, it's just nice the only thing it's missing here is the steering pump, but just, it's just easier to work on the manifold. The steering pump is out of the way. So that is it for now. So uh, you think what I do uh, the other four or five weeks without placing a video or longer. Um, I have to do some, I have more cars than this, so I have to do some maintenance, auto change, that sort of stuff. Oh, there's also a lot of parts, flexible stuff. Flexible pipe, this is for the pipe underneath the, uh, it's going underneath the sump, because going to the other side I want to have it a little bit flexible. This is for the wastegate, for, uh, from the wastegate back into the 3 inch down pipe, so it needs to be a little flexible. Two oil coolers, engine oil cooler and transmission oil cooler, it's like the same size as originally. Uh, this is I'm going to show you in another video because uh, it also has to do with a company that's nearby me that helped me a lot with searching for the right parts. It's a company that does a lot of lot with turbos. We're going to talk about that. But this is a, I think it's made in Canada. It's a wastegate without a rubber membrane in it, so it's a, like a piston in it. So I'm going to show you that also. They ordered two of these. Uh, 60 millimeter is it it was also because I was waiting for another one that was I don't know what the brand was but it was a 66 millimeter but this should be enough uh, for the rest I got all kinds of hoses oil hoses fuel hoses all the uh, all the connectors uh, I ordered um, fuel lines for in the car that will be what was it Half inch aluminium tubing uh, to AN8 uh, connection. So I'm going to use AN8 uh, fuel lines. That's a little bit bigger than original, but I think it's, uh, yeah, I think AN6 is possible, but uh, the advice was to go for AN8. And I'm going to make it new, so price wise, it doesn't make, make uh, each other a lot. So for the rest, it's going all pretty good. So turbo stuff and that sort of things will be in the next video. I'm going to explain uh, what turbo I have and what... Uh, no, the way that I already showed you. But uh, the complete setup I'm going to show you then. I hope so.
And I hope it will be a little bit faster than after this video. So I showed you the exhaust manifolds. Uh, they will be shown in the future out of the car, I think for sure. But now it works out uh, pretty good. So, all good. So it was a quick update. I think I'm already over 10 minutes, so not that quick. I hope you liked the video. Uh, leave some comments below. If you've got any questions, you can also have a look on my website, jayspeedshop.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Link is in the right corner of my logo. Click on it, you go to my main page and see you for the next one. Bye-bye.